Hey, this video right here, we got Vuga speaks on Fabio Fawn about him claiming GDK. Uh, he said that he's seen him doing a Kanye West, uh, like when he was making the album or whatever, you know, Kanye had all the artists there. He said he spoke to him about uh, the GDK references and things of that nature. From his perspective, like, it wasn't nothing too major. It wasn't nothing like, oh, sorry, he folded when I was brought it to his attention. It wasn't nothing like that. But um, I think Fabio's response was like, bruh, when I'm saying GDK, it's not mentioned to no other state other than New York. I'm speaking about the people that I'm in tour with, which is also commendable. I mean, I ain't trying to put myself in no other situation I, you know they all traveling you know what I mean like we all traveling like if I don't got no smoke with no other with nobody from this state right here why would I put you in some shit that got nothing to do with none of you niggas you know what I mean so I, I get it let's kind of see what he talking about what you uh think about like the uh New York drill scene is that something that you be heavy on listening to or what um I see it a lot, but I can't, I don't really just listen to it like that. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, New York got their own wave. You feel me? I can't take, I ain't trying to take nothing away from them. You feel me? But me personally, I don't know. I just can't get jiggy with the, with the, with them type of beats they be doing that. Everybody, it's like all the beats be the same to me. You feel me? And I don't know. I, I just don't listen to it. I don't listen to it as much. So, uh, what yeah, about like, 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 I don't know. It's, I can't get jiggy with it. it everybody got their own preference of music, but I don't know. So, like, I seen somebody, I don't think, I, I don't know if you spoke on it, but I seen people speak on, like, the situation with, with Fivio in the studio. But I'm not, I'm not sure if you ever, like, gave your, your point of view or your perspective of, like, what exactly happened that day. Like in the studio with Fabio, yeah. with, with the Yay shit. Yeah. Oh shit! Basically, shit. I seen him. Um, it was just me and my homie Devo. We was there, and um, I seen him in there. But when I seen him, we was kind of a distance away. You feel me? I wasn't thinking nothing of it. You feel me? But my guy, Malik Yusuf, he um kind of felt like it was just tension in the air, just off the strength of what five yo be rapping and what I rap, you feel me? So he kind of like, Rook, I want you to come in the room and just holler at five yo, y'all to holler, you feel me? Me being the person that I am, so I check it out, you know what I'm saying? We chopped it up, like, he was just explaining like shit, you know what I'm saying? That shit for some whole other shit in New York, you feel me? And, and I understand it, but I explained to him too, you feel me? Like, you gotta understand what you doing, you know what I'm saying? And the, and the type of wave you create. You know what I'm saying? I yeah, see, I told y'all. Uh, that's what that was his response. Like, yo, it ain't really got nothing to do with nobody else that ain't into it with us. Like, if you ain't into it with us, and ain't got nothing to do with y'all, kind of thing. Yeah, like, he like, yeah, it ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. Like, if you ain't included in this, I don't see y'all on a day-to-day -day basis and stuff like that, then, um, yeah, don't even, like, bring it to our attention. I said, I get it. I got to understand it ain't just them 10 GDs out here, you know what I'm saying? And I told him, like, how would you feel if a motherfucker on the internet and basically got into it with like five crips and now i'm crip k on the internet you know what i'm saying all the crips are high they'll feel some way right for sure and i that's all i was just trying to get them to understand you know what i'm saying but we left out of the room like two men you feel me that's all it was bro so do you think like the internet uh the way they like painted the the narrative was like overdone or not really accurate with the saying he got the yelling and being emotional and this and that hell yeah they, that's the internet bro like you don't hear from the source 
I don't believe that shit, bro. It was never no none of that type of shit, bro. It was a cordial ass conversation, bro. It wasn't no him acting tough, me acting tough. None of that shit. We was hollering like men, bro. It wasn't no. The end of the day, he from a whole different state. I'm from a whole different state. I know it ain't no real smoke. You feel me? He know it ain't no real smoke. It's just, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like he learned something in the midst of that, and I learned something. And that's what it's all about, learning from each other, bro, at the end of the day. So did you uh know the person who, who was saying that? Because it was, it was a guy that basically, somehow he got his hands on his chain. But that was a person that was saying all of that, basically, with the... uh. How how he was in the studio? Like, was that somebody you know? No, I don't know. Like I told you, I told you who I was with. Oh yeah, oh, bro. But other than that, I don't know who said that, bro. No, to be making shit up, bro, for content, bro. I see they got you. <laughs> yeah, oh, bro. You man, you you ought to know sixteen, man. <laughs> see, it's this the thing. Like, it's crazy when 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 things when like when I see things about me on the internet. I be thinking in my head like people can't be this slow, but in reality, it's like I know. But I be thinking like, cause I know they supposed to know. But in reality, somebody could go online and say things, and when people be ignorant to it, something that you think is foolish, people are, are believe type shit. Like, read the headline. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, nah, they believe it, but sometimes you gotta just. But but sometimes when you react to it, they'll believe it even more, bro. That's real shit. Sometimes when you just don't react, bro, ain't nobody, they'll look at that shit and let it go. They'll, they'll look at it and be expecting a reaction from you. But nobody, bro, that shit ain't about nothing. As long as you don't really react to that shit, bro, you just, you know it ain't true. Ain't nothing to react to, bro. Look at the big celebrities. They don't react to shit, bro. You get on the internet, say anything about Drake. That man's not friend to react to you, to nobody. That was it. What y'all think, though? Like I said, I get both perspectives. Um, yeah.